So here we go. So uh, bless this mess is what I always say. Uh, we've got the 64 Cadillac turn signal switch hooked up here with a uh, an old aircraft uh, uh, quarter 28 threaded thing for the stem and our completely rebuilt switch on the inside with the new wiring harness sheath. And Matt here is going to go through and show how the complexity of this system works. We've got a neutral left and right with all the different color codes here. We're gonna be putting them through a nine amp load here, which is basically a couple of quartz halogen lights hooked up. So uh, go ahead and do the process here, Matt. I'm doing the quartering lights first. All right. So this is for... There we go. Now nine amps is a lot larger load than what any of these are likely gonna see. Here's right. So you got right and left quartering lamps? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And now we're going to do front turn signal. Well, the reason Matt can do this so quickly is because we've already left brain this thing out to the nth degree. And and, right. Okay. And so this is coming kind of natural to him at this point. And left. The long and the short of it is, is that now we're familiar with this specific type of switch. I mean, this is the most complex switch of all of the... Now we're doing rear. Rear. Yeah, very and good. Left. left rear. And, uh, yeah, now we're familiar with this thing. We're happy to do right. some more. Okay. Now we're going to test the brake light function for when you have the turn signal on. So that when you turn left, the right brake still works. And it also works in neutral because you need brakes. Right, you need, you need brakes right when the thing is uh, not uh, left or right. And, of course, this goes back to a lot of relays that originally isolated a single filament operation for both turn signal and brakes. And there's the other side, and, the and, other side still and still on neutral. neutral. Right. There used to be, in, for Volkswagen Bugs, with a single filament operating both uh, brakes and turn signal, they had the 111-953-513B relay. Ha! <laughs> Get one of those in six volts. Well, uh, that concludes the test showing all of the wires operational. We thank you for your time, and uh, yeah, great project. Thank you.